Hi there Wiggler! This is Heather from SisterWigs.com um, and this is a really short video about how I pull off just about any wig color. I use a lot of contrasting colors when it comes to backdrops, hopefully so stuff pops. Sometimes I use, you know, colors that are very similar and eh, the, the, the images don't always pop. So it's a lot of trial and error really. I'm not wearing any makeup at all. None. This is my skin. I, I just washed and moisturized, so it's a little shiny. But it's it's not, um, no makeup, blemishes, full display, acne scars, and all. It's because I wanted to show you how I coordinate these colors. Um, because in all honesty, a lot of the times what I do is I plan my reviews in advance. I film a whole bunch at once and I will use foundation in particular and my wardrobe to play up the strengths of the colors of whatever it is that I'm wearing. So like if I'm wearing something like this, if I were going to choose my foundation, what I do is I'd probably take a little bit of like a gold base or yellow base foundation and uh, add that to my regular neutral foundation. Blend the two together until I get a good shade that's a little bit more gold than my natural skin tone and then I just kind of blend it in like crazy, blend it in everywhere. And then I choose kind of warmer makeup shades. Um, the other thing I do is I coordinate my outfit. So in this case, this really cute little anthropology sweater and the silk blouse underneath have a lot of yellow in them. And that yellow just automatically is going to make my skin look a little bit more ivory than it typically is in real life. So that means that without any makeup at all, I'm already sort of priming my appearance for what the wig color is gonna look like. And because I'm playing up the yellow or what little yellow there is in my skin, cause I actually have kind of a naturally neutral, cool kind of skin tone, but this helps it a little bit. But it means that, you know, I could pull off this color, this uh, Sangria by Gabor on this On Edge it's okay. If I had more makeup on this color, I mean, especially if I drew my eyebrows in a little bit more, uh, this color would probably look dynamite. But it's sort of not, not the most graceful compliment to this particular sweater. So if I were choosing a red, I'd choose something with a little bit more gold in it because honestly the Sangria color is kind of a cool, neutral sort of red and I'm playing up the ivory in my skin with this outfit, which makes it, you know, almost cry out for a gold base red. So something like this Wineberry, with a very confusing name, <laughs> from Tonya Beverly here on Cora, being slightly more gold, the color goes a lot better with not only the outfit I'm wearing, but also with my skin with this particular outfit on. And it looks a little less harsh. And in fact, I would probably even go a little bit lighter, maybe go for like something like Aesthetica's R30 2826. If I were really trying to play up the yellow in my skin tone. But in this particular case, I just wanted to show you that that's one trick that I deploy. I use my wardrobe to complement and bring out the best of whatever it is that I am demoing. So if I'm demoing a vast variety of colors in a single day, I tend to wear more neutral outfits, um, lots of black and white and taupe and you know things that, that don't pull too cool or too warm. But on days when I'm going to wear a lot of things that have gold tones in them, I wear warm colors and I coordinate my makeup, not only the foundation, but I wear, you know, more warm earth tones in my makeup routine. And uh, even with my eyebrows, I will paint them in a slightly warmer brown than just like a neutral kind of color. And then uh, if I'm wearing a lot of cool colors, right, um, I tend to wear pinks, lots of, uh, you know, I wear cool, my, my regular neutral cool foundation that I that I wear to match my actual skin tone and just kind of even out some of this redness that goes on. Um, but, uh, you know, I tend to wear, you know, more of like jet black eyeliner and neutral brown up here and pink here and pink here as opposed to a little bit of red here, you know. And so 
that's that's the trick you just pay attention to whatever it is that you're trying to pull off and then you coordinate your clothing and your makeup to match um, hopefully that's been helpful and if you need more assistance on that we've got two things for you first you can go to our website where you can learn more about skin tone and shop by by color you can actually look at the colors that would fit your skin tone the best and then kind of find those on our site and if you need even more help in that regard you can always contact our help desk which is support at sisterwigs.com the folks who work at our help desk are basically artists they're super creative people in addition to being rock star customer service folks and so they have a really great eye for color they're really really good at that and that was something that made them a perfect fit for that job is because they pay really close attention to the same kind of stuff i pay really close attention attention to so don't be afraid to reach out to them if you ever need their color advice because they're really good at it so thank you for watching everybody make sure you reach out to us if you need us check out our wig store sister wigs c-y-s-t-e-r w-i-g-s dot com and uh, until next time have a great night everybody make sure you subscribe bye